Can you see it? Oh yeah, that is what we are unboxing today, guys. We've got an insane video ahead of us. Listen, we've got iconic Yeezys, we've got limited Yeezy, we've got early Jordans, and we've got Yeezy Gap, and much more. And we're gonna start off with one pair of sneakers, which I cannot wait to see. So I'm just gonna unbox it first. Let's get into it. Pull this open. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys were waiting for me to get this one in. Delayed a few days, so I only just got this in, I believe, yesterday. Wow, this is a much different color than I was expecting. I was expecting more of like a stone gray type of color for the upper. However, it almost seems like it's got some kind of brown hues in it. Uh, maybe just a darker version of what's around the upper. It's a very tough pair of shoes because it's so incredibly different to anything that you've seen before. I mean, yeah, it has the shape of the foam runner, but it's honestly completely different. Underneath all of this knit is a nice large piece of foam which, uh, yeah, you definitely feel on your foot. It's a very acquired taste. So some people are going to like it and some people are going to hate it. My biggest problem with this pair of shoes, I think, is the retail price. I don't think it necessarily needs to be that high. I feel like if it was lower, a lot more people would be a little bit more on board with this shoe just because it's so simple and it seems like just such a basic construction. I don't think it needs to be up there with the prices of like Boost sneakers, Yeezy 350, I was gonna do a review on this one. I'm not too sure if I am now if you guys really want to see a review Definitely let me know down in the comment section because there is a lot to say about this shoe um, But again, I don't know just let me know down in the comments and I will get to that We're gonna get a little lineup going Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Is there something preventing you from happiness or potentially something that's interfering with your goals? Oftentimes speaking to someone is super important to help you with whatever's troubling you. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network which may not be locally available to you and you can connect to a therapist worldwide. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. You can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional online therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com forward slash Elliot Page. That's better H-E-L-P and join Join the over 2 million people taking charge of their mental health. And also because you're over here on my channel, they've got a special offer for 10% off your first month. Again, that is betterhelp.com forward slash Elliot Page. Once again, thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video, but let's get back to it. Let's get into a Nike box. This is one that I'm actually pretty excited about. Look at that crazy box. Oh yes, the Jordan 5, and this is the Jade Horizon colorway. Honestly, the materials on these things are sick. Well done leather, like it feels really good quality. The eye stays are all orange or yellowed out, as well as that tongue toggle. And of course, the outsole as well is nicely aged. So yeah, really cool looking pair of Jordan 5. Definitely plan on doing a review on this one because I think there's a lot to say about it and I feel like this is a really clean, different, good-looking pair of Jordan 5. We've got a lot to get into and I'm just like, yo, let's let's keep it moving. Let's get some of these clothing pickups out of the way. Hey, this is a jacket. This is something you guys are probably well familiar with at this point. This is the Carhartt Santa Fe jacket. It retails at 200 pounds. I was like, yo, that is a lot of money. I mean, man, the retail is super high, but honestly, the quality and just the shape of me wearing it, like you guys are watching the b-roll just look how it sits it's just super super nice i don't know you guys can tell me how it looked nice little pickup let's get into the yeezy gap all right so as you guys know i did kind of like i got my yeezy gap in and i purchased it from the gap website and i went for medium which is generally speaking my true to size for oversized stuff and uh, if you guys saw those videos you know that it was pretty small i got a different size and we're going to see how that stacks up 
against my medium and if you should go a size up or if you should just stick with your regular size so yeah I would say you know it's a little bit difficult it's it's a better fit but there are some things that I don't particularly like the cropped effect is still here it's definitely not as extreme as it was on the medium which is really good something if you do size up you will notice you're gonna have a lot more room in the sleeves which I don't personally mind this neck area gets a lot wider so like now this is all hanging out and I don't particularly like the way that that looks and also the cuffing around the wrists that's a little bit sloppy and it kind of feels like it might just pop over I mean in terms of length it fits me fine if you don't mind the crop I would say stick with your true to size however if you're really not a fan of that cropping or it just doesn't look good on you and I definitely think a size up will be a better fit for you All right, we got one more clothing pickup which I'm very excited about this is from Dan over at wings of Liberty clothing oh my god We've got a whole unboxing experience We've got a little note here thank you Dan appreciate it and the freaking packaging you did with this box guys that is insane Wow the freaking box is magnetic it's magnetically closing and <laughs> you get some information on the top there about the jacket this jacket is number four it's taken six plus hours to create with a number of finishing details being hand applied to make sure every jacket is perfect and no two are the same here we go this is the shirling jacket and the shirling on the inside feels like i wish my entire bed was made of this material embroidered eagle on the pocket there this is probably one of the most comfortable denim jack or just jackets i've ever worn denim is really soft so it's like you don't feel constricted like some of those thicker levi denim jackets it's really soft and movable so you just kind of feel like you're wearing a normal jacket guys this is incredible wings of liberty clothing 100 percent check them out this jacket drops on thursday i think at 4 p.m thank you so much dan um again i'll put any details i'll put a link to their website down in the description to go and check them out first one up let's pull it open this is is a Nike dunk box. This is just some lightness before we get into the heaviness back there. Uh, this is the cool purple dunks guys and wow look how crazy they're blowing up on camera. They are so bright and just a really solid colorway. I know that these dropped out in the US relatively recently on the Nike app however they only just released here through a bunch of different raffles. I'm not even 100% sure if these have had a Nike release just yet so I don't really know when it comes to dunks especially here in the UK they just seem to drop them randomly. No pair of dunks obviously same kind of you know leather quality etc etc let's get into the Yeezy this is an interesting box we're still working on it come on all right we are in okay we've got a pair of 350s guys and it is oh man I had to you guys know I had to this is the Yeezy 350 Oreo I'm late to picking these up and that's just because mainly I was salty that I took an L. Sometimes you take those L's and you're like, huh, okay, I'll keep it moving. This one for me came at a time where I was on a crazy L streak on the Adidas Confirmed app and it just kept handing me L's on shoes that I really freaking wanted. And I was kind of pissed off. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to freaking buy that pair of sneakers. But obviously I caved because, I mean, look at it. I am super glad I did. These things are so clean. I mean, ever since the Belugas dropped, we've just been getting nonstop heat with the 350 model. I know that these were pretty limited, so there isn't like a huge amount of stock out there. But depending on what the resale is, listen, if you were looking for a really solid pair of 350s to pick up and rock year round, this is probably one of the better pairs out there. Let me know if you managed to get these things for retail. If you did, count yourself lucky because I think there was a lot of L's handed out. This is a really interesting one because guys, we do not have a release date for this pair. So it is very early. In fact, I don't even know what the box looks like inside. I haven't seen any leaks of this shoe's box. I mean, I've seen leaks of the shoe, but not the box. So I'm very interested to see that. What? Mid box? What the hell? What? This is the Jordan 4 blank canvas. And for some reason, it's in a Jordan mid box or like a Jordan low box. Is that right? So I got these from StockX. I don't know. Is this going to be the box that it comes in? Surely not. That's not a Jordan 4 box. I don't know. Have you guys ever seen that? I mean, take a look at the size tag. 
that's on a Jordan mid box, at least from what I know. Maybe this is from a different country. Like you can see, it has a sticker here saying uh, Nike Indonesia. So take a look at that. I mean, even the midsole has got canvas on it around the back. Uh, and then underneath, take a look at that. I think just the colorway in general looks super clean. Anybody who's a customizer that wants to throw some paint on these bad boys, you are going to have a blast. Hey, maybe like a dip dye or something like that would look really cool as well. Uh, let me know what you think of these down in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite is out of what we took a look at here today, guys. Thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then...